Sister Lizzie, why are you still sleeping by this time of the afternoon? You should be up by morning. That's what virtuous women do. Dear Lord, I bless you. I don't know why you're taking so much pride in me. Eh? So much that you speak to me more than Moses. You even gave me more power than Jesus Christ. Sister Lizzie, I have a message from God for you. Before time began, God called me into the heavenlies and said, Son, I have a job for you. I said, What is it, Father? And he says, You have a ministry to fulfill on the surface of the earth. Here I am. 1972, August 13, he spoke to me while I was still in my mother's womb and he said, I'll be born. Here I am again. Not too long after that, April 24, he spoke to me about my ministry, that I will be the greatest minister that ever lived. I am the greatest minister now, even though it doesn't appear like that, because people don't know it yet, but I am. This is the big one. April 1st, the Lord spoke to me about you, and he said you will be my wife. Here you are. And God tells me everything. It tells you everything. Everything. Mm. She's, I've told you about my people then. Of course, yes. I'm very well aware of them. All of them. The junior bumper, everybody, yes. <laughs> mm. Are you ready to meet my family? Oh, Sister Lizzie, I've been ready ever since time immemorial. <laughs> yeah? Sister Lizzie, Lizzie, where are we? What's this? Where are we? Hey, April Fool. Surprise! April Fool. You see? It ain't me. April Fool. Jesus power. Uh, super power.